What's going on guys? It's Smudgy here. I'm making this video because I've not seen a lot of people talk about it. I don't know if it's with the you know the new season, new game modes, maps and the blueprints or the, the guns rather that come within the battle pass. Um, people have even not noticed, they're not too bothered. I thought I'd make a quick video about it anyway because there's no point in me making a video telling you how to unlock the new SMG and assault rifle. You just have to level up the battle pass and they are free so you don't have to buy it. It's kind of not much more you can say, play high XP games. Instead I thought we'd take a look at the new melee weapon that seems to just continually get added. How many How many have we got now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This is the 8th melee weapon, the cane. And for this one you have to kill an enemy disorientated or blinded by stuns or flashes. And 15 different completed matches again which is really just the worst thing in the world. Obviously, you're going to want to make sure you have either a stun or a flash um, equipped. It's difficult to keep people disorientated for long enough because so many people do run tap mask and so, so many people are going to be running tap mask trying to unlock this weapon in the next like you know two three days. Um, that's kind of the main obstacle you're going to have to try and overcome. And so for that, more so than anything, if you're playing a game mode that doesn't have score streaks like face off, um, you can make sure you've got danger close on because you won't really need anything else you'll just kind of have to live with the whole black jacket not being their thing also so you can keep it on make sure that you definitely though have gear head uh, sorry not gear head quartermaster on so those replenish so if you do stay alive long enough in whatever game mode you're in you can keep going um danger close works really nicely because you just get an extra piece of equipment you have to stay alive and of course you only need one kill per match but if you do miss both your stuns not get close enough to the enemy etc and that of that of course would help if you do have quartermaster it's a bit of a tricky one you're either going to get it in the life that you're alive in or you're not and you're going to have to respawn and try again it's just one of those things as far as game modes to play obviously face off 66 is going to be the go-to it's so chaotic you can get close to anyone um, you could play Mute Jacked, you know, that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, it's a bigger map, people are less focused in, on like individual channels, it's easier to flank people, especially on Hijacked. That would work, um, you know, I don't think I could say it wouldn't. The main issue is just making sure they are actually stunned um, when you kill them or flash when you kill them. And for that, I'd recommend the um, either the knife or the machete, obviously if you have these unlocked it'll be a bit different. Um, purely because the machete has got the range, so if you are just that little bit further away, you can get to them before that stun wears out. But the knife's just so quick that, you know, they're not going to have much chance to shoot you. It's just one of those things whether or not you count on yourself to be up close and personal with them, um, or you don't, then I'd use the machete personally. Quick little video on how to unlock the cane. Not seen many people talk about it. Um, I know that it's probably not the highest priority for people, but I will have... Uh, gold gun guides come out later for the other two guns as well as a nice little uh, double agent video. So I'll see you guys then